what do you make of uh, your time here so far and um, what do you make of this team? Uh, it's been great. Um, the teams welcome me with open arms, the coaches, and um, you know, training camp's going well. Uh, you know, like I said from the jump, you know, people were texting me, how's it Minnesota? Are you liking it? Blah, blah, blah. What's, what's it like? I'm like, you know, it's just when you come here, it's a championship mentality from the start. And, uh, you know, we have a goal and, you know, we say at the beginning, this is what we want and, it, and it's a championship. You know, that's, that's what we're playing for. So it's fun to have that mentality coming in at the beginning of the training camp. There been little things along the way that, you, that you've been picking up on that the team does that maybe you haven't seen before in other places, like the, just attention to details? Like um, I mean, I think Shirley is keen on little things and attention to details uh, throughout the practice without getting too specific. And, uh, you know, we work on stuff that we need to work on. If we don't need to work on it, we're not wasting our time doing it, you know. And so I think it's like that. She doesn't waste any of our time and she doesn't want us to waste hers. You know, so it's, we, we really get in here and go after whatever she says she wants us to, and then we get out. And, uh, you know, we have a great group of girls, and we have an awesome, and I'm really impressed with our practice players. Those guys that we practice with every day, they're amazing. And I, I'm serious, they challenge us, and uh, they're just really helpful. And you want to get shots up to practice and hear rebounding and stuff like that. So that really helps the team, and I could, and I could tell. It seems like the championship mentality is rubbed up on you. <laughs> I'm what trying to have that swag that they have. I don't know <laughs> if I have it all the way yet. <laughs> Why do you think it's happened so quickly that you just bought into what they were selling? Out of because it, it works, you know. I, I mean, I've been a witness on the other end of having to play them for, you know, 10, 11 years, you know. And, um, you know, you, you have to buy in with this team. Like, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I'm just coming in and just, you know, trying to make my way. And they've opened me, they've welcomed me with open arms and um, just trying to show me the way. And I'm, I'm just following. Has the preparation that you've done against this team over the years helped or hurt coming into camp? Seeing it from a different perspective. Um. I can't really tell. I don't think it's either. You know, I think it's different actually being a part of it. Um, you know, and now they're on my team. You know, so or I'm on their team, I should say. You know, so so it's easier for me. You know, I, and um, I think this is is, is going to be easy for me to just you know stand over here and let Lizzie do her thing and just find me. You know, so it's going to be really fun. Have you been told what the expected role for you is coming in as far as you know, where you're going to fit into the lineup and it's things like that? Um, no, not really. I mean, I, I don't really, we haven't had that conversation about my role and uh, coming off the bench. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to kind of come off the bench like I did uh, in San Antonio besides last year and just try to make an impact. Um, you know, we have four Olympians and they've done a great job. And like I said, you know, I'm just trying to come in and just, uh, you know, if they need some rest, give them some rest. And while they're out there, our game not drop any. So I'm just trying to come in and do what I do. Obviously, you know, they said they brought me here to do what I do or they wouldn't have brought me here. So that's pretty much it. What's Sorry, your somebody already asked you that, but did you get much of a heads up that there was a possibility you might be dealt? I did. Yeah, I did. How much, uh, how much of a heads up did you get in that conversation? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, it's... I mean, I knew for a, a little bit. I didn't know exactly where I was going to go, but, you know, just coming to this career, I love my time in San Antonio. I wanted a, a great organization, great people. You know, some of my best friends are still on the team. Uh, Dan is an awesome guy, it's a really stand-up guy. And, uh, you know, they're in a rebuilding mode, you know, and they um, have a lot of young talent that they're going to raise and try to get the organization back to where it was. And, um, you know, at this point, I'm just, you know, at a different place and, you know, kind of older and kind of ready to, you know, I, you know, I want to win, and, you know, I'm at the end of my career and that's that's what I want to do. I want a championship really, really bad, you know, so, um, you know, it just happened that, I, you know, I got to come here and be with a part of this organization. Over the last uh, few years, you've been among the top players in steals. How do you think your intensity on defense can help this team uh, for the 2016 campaign? Um. You know, we say defense wins championships, so, I mean, I'm just going to try to come in and just, you know, do what I do and, uh, you know, just try to play good defense. I think uh, Cheryl was saying this team is already uh, top, top in league in defense or whatever, so, uh, you know, I'm just going to just try to fit in wherever I can and uh, just try to make a difference that way as well. So was it more you who kind of wanted out of San Antonio? Just from I mean, I don't really want to get into all that, but... Uh, you know, I'm here. That's that's all that matters. You know. Could you have thought of a better landing spot though, in a team who's had as much success as they've had in the last five years? 
Um, no, I couldn't have. <laughs> what are you looking forward to the most uh, with this uh, new set of comrades? Uh, just learning and, and just this the mentality and the swag here is is amazing. You know, it's just not overbearing. You know, they're not you know all in the, your face with the championships, but you could tell that this is this is what it is. You know, we're here to win, and this is what we do. We have a target on our back, and you know, I, I kind of like it when people are chasing you. You know, it's, it, I think it's going to be fun and a great group of girls to lead the team. Uh, we had four, like I said, four Olympians. You know who are the captains, so um, I'm just ready to learn and, and and to get better and grow. What's your relationship like with Lindsay? I know it goes quite a long ways back. We just played together when you were like 19 or something like that. Uh huh. Um, yeah, me and Lizzie played on the the U.S. team when we were in college, uh, so I got to know her a little bit back then. And um, every time I see her in the game, we speak and stuff. So she's just she's just a really laid back person and uh, very helpful and on the court she's a leader and always getting together hugging you giving you a high five you know trying to get you hype and she's always talking you know and, and want you to get better and learn so um, she's, she's a great leader she really is.